Um, I mean, just kind of shifting a little bit, just because I, I see my buddy Carrie over here. Um, he had asked a question, and I'm just going to read it. He's like, I like to use hand palms when I strike. This is more technical uh, stuff, yeah. right? Um, I like to use hand palms when I strike these days. I can still intercept a trap if I need, if need be, um, but go into a hand, but but go into a hand palm won't hurt the knuckles so bad. So I guess I'm thinking hand palms over punches, I'm assuming, Carrie. Right, so if you have a preference, do you prefer to do hand palms so you don't break your wrist, let's say, or do you prefer punching and, and stuff like that? Is it what's like the the big? Yeah, <laughs> look at the knuckles. If you if you can't see them, they're they're like calloused up and blackened out. It's ridiculous. It's serious. I took a picture of him and I was like, look at those knuckles. That's like the first thing you see. I, um, I I was okay. So that's, so you have to so train. Let's answer that. Let's you have to train the knuckles. So we'll answer that by answering um, realistic training. That's right, Johnny. Right? Realistic training. We'll 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 answer that by 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 answering the other question about training aids. You know what, what's one of my favorite training aids? Huh. Right. The hand pad. Which is just is that the one that you know, yeah like, yeah yeah right. But then another favorite training aid right is any and everything that strengthens forearm to fist. Right? Yeah. Back in, again, I'm so sorry for people that you were born <laughs> too late. Too late. Right? Too late. There was a guy named Jerry Robinson in uh, Santa Monica. Um, I think he was a, a student of Chris Kent. Okay. Right? We should talk about my heroes. Yeah. Uh, Chris Kent and yeah. Cass Magda and Ted Lukai. Oh, yeah. Guy, usually, you know. Yeah. Right? But then we'd be here all day. That would be podcasting <laughs> number two. Right? But uh, yeah, Jerry Robinson had an outfit called uh, Health for Life, I think, hmm. and he had a lot of a lot of um, non-mainstream uh, programs. He had Secrets of Advanced Bodybuilders. Right. He had um, something abs, uh, extreme abs. I, I I don't remember, but um, I know that one of Chris Kent's earliest video effort was produced, I think, by, by Jerry Robbins. Oh, cool. I think, I think it's a series called um, Dynamic Jeet Kune Do, I yeah. think, right? Um, but in the training equipment that this guy had, right, it was two things that I had not seen anywhere. There was, there was this, this metal thing that you would put the, um, the rubber weight on it, mm -hmm. so you could put the different, the different uh, plates on right. it, and then it was a forearm trainer. Oh, interesting. Right? Uh, and he also had he had a, a complete training manual for forearms. That's awesome, right? Yeah, yeah. he had a complete training manual for forearms. So there was that plus um, that was dynamic know, Jeet Kune Do. That no, was a, no, no, no. This is the, this Gary is Robinson. Yeah, he produced gotcha. he produced dynamic Jeet Kune Do, I think for Chris Kent. Gotcha. But health for life in his front. So so there was there was stuff about hanging. Hanging like this, right? With with the straight bar, right? right? And curling like this, and then you superset that with something like this, and then you superset that with the wrist turner like this, right? And then you hold it back like this, and you go like that, right? Bruce Lee had the oh, grip, that's right, right, the grip right? one, yeah, yeah. He 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 didn't produce anything like that, but um, but that's how that's how I trained forearms for for years, but my favorite exercise for training forearms is when you take, you know what the easy curl bar is? Yes. Right? Yep. You take that and you invert the grip, uh -huh. right? And then, see, ah. you, do your, you do your bicep curl this way. Interesting. Yeah. yeah. I right. hadn't thought of that. I was just using that with Romario. I think Romario's in here too. Yeah. 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 That, so, so, so anything, anything that, that keeps, um, that keeps the fist, right, and the forearm in good shape. Yeah. Right. Is a, is a favorite training aid <laughs> yeah. of, of mine. Um, is that what you would need to really? Because I know one of the biggest things that people don't realize, like, well, you no, but, no, but don't get don't get me wrong. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. Right. Knuckles up against skull and and teeth and what have you is never fun. Yeah. Exactly. So a palm strike, there's nothing. See, but here's the thing, right? <laughs> if I can hit like that, but what does it stop me from tiger clawing you? Yeah. Right. What yeah. does it stop me from? From you know, snake fisting you. Right. What is to stop me from hitting you with the palm heel? So, so it's not so much what. I almost shape, died for you guys, right? right? There. Yeah, it's not. It's not so much what shape is at the end right. of this, right? It's whether or not it's accurate and powerful. Yeah. Right. Right. right, right. And thrown at the right time from the proper distance. You see, because 
You, 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 you know that the, when, we talk, we, when we talk about there, there's a, a Bruce Lee quote, I'm going to do a hatchet job on <laughs> but it's, um, it. But it's words to the effect that Jeet Kune Do is not so much a matter of petty technique, mm -hmm. right? It's more about the training of attributes. You see? So technique is a means to an end, right. not an end in itself. You see? Mm -hmm. Because you don't know when the technique but you train it, but you know, it's, it's like, here, here, here's how I explain it to people. Michael Jordan is considered probably still the greatest yes. basketball player, right? And Some I think, controversy about it, but yeah, right? pretty much. And I think that he was a, a, a small point guard or whatever it is position that he played. But Michael Jordan's responsibilities as a guard in the NBA were the same responsibilities as any other Right. Guard in the NBA. Right? Yes. And then what do you do in basketball? You run, dribble, shoot, shoot. pass. Right. That's pretty much it, right? Yeah. So why is Michael Jordan a standout? Training. Attributes. Attributes. You see? Yes. Control over distance. Ability to defy gravity. Mm -hmm. Right? You know, speed, uh, what, elusiveness, whatever. It's attributes. So you train the techniques in order to develop the attributes, yeah. right? You're not training the technique in order to develop the technique itself. That's a byproduct, right? Skill in the technique. So would you say attribute training is something that you should focus on and by of just course have the but, yeah technique yeah after. why train Muay Thai attributes? So what's what the hell gets you in right. better shape right. than just double? And you you know you don't have to be sophisticated in it, you know. Right, right. Just hit just the hit pad. the pads. <laughs> Five three minute rounds of double kick. Three times a week. That's rough. You'll be shredded. Yeah. Right? 100%. You'll be shredded. So just for some of the people who may have questions about what's the difference between like attribute training, what is attribute training? I mean, so just an attribute, simple. right? An attribute is a quality which allows the skillful execution of the technique. That's my definition of an attribute. That's a great. Smash the like button if you thought <laughs> that was a great definition. All right? Attribute is a quality that allows the skillful execution of a technique.